There is somewhere in the neighborhood of 7 billion people on this planet. And to feed that many people was not easy. And to have them live a very convenient life where food's all over the place, ready to go, is not easy. And it's an amazing feat, to be fair. However, uh, if fresh, quality, well-made food with made with tradition and care and love is needed to be healthy, to be very, very healthy. Uh, not just early in life when you have all the youth and the, the stored nutrition in your marrow and, your, and stored in your fat, um, to stay healthy over a long period of time. If that's what's needed, then it makes sense that so many of us are so unhealthy and struggle with weight and have terrible diseases hit us later in life from Alzheimer's to cancer to diabetes to many other things. The main reason for that is the ingredients in these processed foods, mainly commercial seed oils. We need lipids, we need oils and fats to sustain us but the oils used in the majority of stable foods, shelf-stable foods, are terrible. The process is made to extract and make them able to sit on the shelf for months or years. It destroys them and makes them detrimental to our bodies. Uh, the number one way to avoid poor health is to avoid commercial seed oils. By far number one. It's very slow, the effects of it. Um, food can be the best medicine or the slowest poison. And commercial seed oils are that very slow poison that eat away at your health, that make it very difficult to keep the weight off, that are cancer waiting to happen. Cancer's the malfunctioning of cells and poorly created seed oils cause cells to malfunction and over time your body can only fight off so much and it loses that ability it loses the nutrition stored in you to fight that malfunctioning of cells and eventually it becomes too much and it overtakes the body prioritizing high quality fat and traditional oils is the way to optimal health, but especially avoiding poor quality oils, these new oils, they've only been around 100 years or so, um, are methods for extracting and bleaching and deodorizing and destroying these oils that destroy our bodies. So that's number one.